little three part bench tip for you. We're gonna be talking about the arch in these three videos. The first tip is you, you wanna get an arch because it does two things, it changes that angle, which is gonna let you press more weight because it gets you in a decline bench press position. Um, and the second thing, because it gets you in that position, which is a little better for your shoulder, you're actually shortening your range of motion as well. So, first tip for that. A lot of people just arch up with their lower back and they don't worry about their upper back arching as well. So your spine is kind of shaped like this. So lower back kind of curves in, upper back curves out. You want your upper back to sink in a little bit and that's gonna give you a better arch. One of the quickest ways to do that is to instead of being on your shoulder blades in your arch, think about trying to get on the tops of your trap. Now at first, if you're just neutral head position, it's kind of in the way to getting on top of your traps, right? So we're gonna take our chin, we're gonna dig it straight down into our chest, so it changes how we talk and restricts our breathing a little bit. Now, I have enough space to actually get up on my upper back, on my upper traps. So if the back of my head is on the bench and I'm laying down, I'm going to be in an extremely upper back arch position, which is gonna help a ton for shortening that range of motion and go a long way to making that, uh, that arch a reality for you. It is not just the lower back, we've got to get that upper back. Part two of building your arch on your bench press. Now this is a cool tip because you don't actually, if you're someone who has a back injury or something that prevents you, maybe some fused vertebrae, from actually working into that arch, this is something that can still give you some of the benefit of arching without actually having to arch. So the main benefit of an arch, there's two things that it does. The first is it puts your body in almost a decline bench pressing situation, which puts you at a better angle to press. It's easier on your shoulders because you're not up out here. It, it, it's just a better angle, it's a stronger angle. You can decline bench press more than you can uh, normal bench press, partially because of the angle. The second thing is that it makes it so that the range of motion is smaller, right? So decline bench, you're like here, normal bench, you're like here, it moves further, right? So if we can create a decline by arching, it's gonna reduce your range of motion. If you can't arch, you're kinda of out of luck, except for this awesome tip. We call it bellying up to the bar. So basically, as you're going down, the press is coming down, I need you to think about uh, breathing in and pushing your gut out as you come down. Now, it will naturally make you arch a little bit, so when I show you the video here, in the video here when I'm demoing it, I'm gonna show you some where I'm arching as I extend the belly and where I'm not arching as I extend the belly. They're both gonna give you that slightly shorter range of motion. It's of course even better in an arch than it is off a flat back. So I'm in a slight arch right now as it comes down. So it's still going to give you a little, a little better um, decrease of range of motion, even if you're not arching. So try that out, let me know how it goes. These silly foam things. If you're a lighter athlete, the foam works good. If you're a heavier athlete, like over 200 pounds, I would say get a hold of like a piece of PVC pipe that's about this diameter. You can get it from Lowe's or Home Depot for super cheap. I think they'll be in like eight or 12 foot long sections. Just chop them up into a couple different sections and you have a party. You can all roll out and hate your life. Um, so you can do the traditional foam rolling. Um, I don't know who's working. Kelly Strett, Mobility Wad, um, Ron Wad, rolling on lacrosse balls and stuff. You can do that stuff and it helps. Don't get me wrong. If you're going to do that, the places you want to target are your lap. So laying on your side, rolling up and down on the thing and laying on your back and rolling with the thing horizontal on your, on your back. Um, just lay down and roll on that sucker. It's gonna long term make a difference, it does help. But my favorite, favorite usage of a PVC pipe or a foam roller to help develop your arch and your bench press is to take one of these suckers and saw them in half, long ways, so it's like a half circle. 
and you're gonna stick it under your back, um, not lower back. I want you to be sneaking up to basically um, as close to the bottom of your shoulder blades as you can get. So you'll be laying on it and pressing away and that forces that upper back to arch. So it's not just stretching the muscles that are involved with it, it's doing it while holding the, the exact position you're trying to hit, okay? Um, the other thing is you're not gonna do it with a ton of weight, but do it with, I mean, if you're pressing about 300 pounds, maybe do it with like 135 to 185 pounds. If you're pressing like 135 pounds, I'd say don't do it with more than about 95 pounds total bar weight. Just to get that extra loading while you're in that position is gonna uh, run the, the mobility device deeper into your tissues and it's gonna hurt like a mother but it's gonna reinforce that position so well um, it's gonna force that position into becoming a comfortable position because it hurts a lot unless it is a comfortable position so your body will adapt a little quicker on it that way um, so first two tips the belly up to the bar um, and the chin tuck easy immediate technical fixes once those things are going well if you're still needing to get some more arching position out. You got your foam rollers, roll straight up and down the upper back, roll out your lats, lay on the sucker with a, a half of one of these things stuck right up below your shoulder blades, really stretch out that thoracic spine. First time you do it, you'll have some pretty good back pops too. It's pretty awesome.